What's going on guys? You're in with Hardy Tech and welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum the Nuzlocke Run. In the last episode, we actually, in the last video, we did some grinding. And I just realized I haven't recorded the commentary for that grinding video yet. It hasn't even been uploaded. So I should probably do that eventually. So you guys already saw that. Um, I'm just talking to myself. Anyway, so this is what our team looks like as we're about to go take on a gym leader. We have Keckles, who is now level 46. Uh, nobody learned any new moves, I think, so we'll just look at the stats instead with them massive defenses and mass. I, God, look at them stats. I just, I love Brazong. He's awesome. Uh, we have Rusty, who, yeah, he's awesome. Hey, Rusty is a girl. She's awesome. Cluckers, he's awesome. Orange, he's, he's pretty awesome. Roxy, she's pretty awesome. And, uh, Archeops, who has, has yet to be named Fruit Whoops. So, he's not going to be awesome until he's named Fruit Whoop. Anyways, today we're going to be going taking on the Electric Gym. So, I'm a little, not going to lie, just a wee bit nervous about this. Um, I think, I don't know why. I don't, I want to start off with Rusty because I think someone in the comments said Rusty gets Earthquake at 48. So, I didn't want to go up to 48 like in the training. I'm like, well, we'll get to 48 during gym battles. So, if it's not actually 48, then we could be in some trouble because I have a feeling we're going to need Earthquake. But... We'll find out, um, but I guess here we go. We got five Pokemon to take on. I believe it's Electivirus 48, and this is actually really loud, so I'm going to turn the volume down because I can't hear myself, but okay. There we go. Uh, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to take them on. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to the Strategy Gym now. Did you remember the Subway City of Light? The gym specializes in electricity. As the leader, I'll battle you. I, you know, unfortunately, that was like the best dialogue a gym leader's had yet. And that's really disappointing because that was still really crappy. The gym leaders, for some reason, like, don't get any characters at all. Leader Rainer would like to battle an Ampros. Oh my god, dude. Make Ampros, make a Fabio, greatest Pokemon ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we will dig. Um, I'm, I was worried that, like, somebody might have Earthquake. Like, I think Electivire might be able to land Earthquake. But I'm not 100% sure. And I just realized I wanted Lucky... I wanted Rusty to have the Lucky Egg, and now Rusty doesn't have the Lucky Egg. And even after the Cotton Spore, we're still faster. But um, Zip Strika, I'm going to assume it's Double Kick, which is probably why he's bringing him out. So let's go with Keckles, who does have the Lucky Egg. And because we're switching out, we will get rid of that lowered speed, which is yeah, amazing. So um, let's Extra Sensory, Double Kick. Oh, I predicted it. I'm so smart. My god, you are so afraid of my smartness, Zip Striker. My smartness haunts... Oh, wow, that... Um... Well. That was unexpected. Uh, let's just confuse Ray U, I guess, because then... I'm pretty sure Zip Striker is pretty freaking awesome. Oh, that's right, the light screen was up. I forgot about that. Um, so those of you who are in the comments getting ready to correct me, you already did do what because of the light screen. There's no need. Just delete your comment because I already found out, okay? Thank you. I knew it. I, I, I just knew that was going to happen. Okay, I assume you're going to have Flamethrower. Because I'm pretty sure Manectric is carry Flamethrower. So let's go back into Rusty. Um, that actually reminds me. The ringtone going off. Um, I, I think it's time for me to get a new text tone. Because I've had a Legend of Zelda one for like five months now. And I I think it's just it's time to move on to the next thing. It's time to annoy you guys with something else. But I, I've had a lot of problems like deciding what it should be. I assume you're going to have Ice Fang. I'm pretty sure the Fang moves are in this game. I don't remember. So, you probably also have Crunch. Um. Uh. Yeah, well, Keckles could probably take a Crunch. But, um, anyway, so, I'm turning to you guys for this. I've, I've been try I've been actually wanting to get a new text tone for quite some time. And I've, I just, like, I can't decide on one. And it, it makes me very sad, um. I've had a lot of different things in mind, like, I've thought, maybe, like, a Caterpie's cry, but... Phone? Really? Uh, maybe, like, a Caterpie's cry would be a good text tone, but I tried getting that, and it just sounded, like, really weird on my phone, so it didn't work. So, um, I'm asking you guys, what would you like to be annoyed by in future videos? What kind of text tone? I'm leaving this one up to you to decide. And I just realized Electivire probably has, like, Brick Break, which would suck. Um... I need to get rid of that paralysis. Oh, he has Screech. That's actually kind of scary. I don't know why he has Screech. What What does he have? What does he have? What does he have? Yes, light screen. Oh, okay. 
Um, do I have a paralyzed heal? I don't. I don't have any max heals either, so we're just going to have to try to fight through the paralysis. Swift. I'm guessing you have Thunderbolt. Wow, okay. Why don't you have, like, Brick Break or Flamethrower or, like, a decent move? No, you have Swift. That's... Wow. Beyond disappointing. I'm not going to lie. And now we get Earthquake. That's cool. <laughs> Let's get rid of... Oh, I want to get rid of Dig. Mudslap is kind of useful for, like, stalling. Um... Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of Dig. Okay. Well, that was the um, our sixth gym badge, I believe. And that was a lot easier than it should have been. So, yeah, as I was trying to say, if you guys have any suggestions for what kind of text tone I could have, like what sound, like from video games, preferably. I like video game stuff. Like before the Zelda one, I had a Mario one. And a Pokemon theme one would be cool. But I can't think of, like, a good Pokemon text tone. Because, like, Pokemon cries don't seem to work out very well. So, um... Now I can fly, so we're going to go re rename Archeops. And I believe that's Sean Port City is where the name raider is. Is it this house? I don't remember. Are you the name raider? Yes, you are. Awesome. So we can finally nickname our Archeops. So we will nickname him uh, Fruit Loops. So this is the best name ever for an Archeops, by the way. Uh, can we? Okay, good. We can't have the space. Awesome. So we will do that. And then loop. Oh my god, I feel so smart. Awesome. Okay, so now we go back to the town we were in before, and I have no idea which direct is, is why is this? Oh, okay, I, I'm so confused. Like, some of these are red and some of these are black, and it's, it's confusing me. So, um, I do need to heal, though, so... And I think now we go to the west and the lady that was blocking the cave in the last episode... Like the fiery, icy cave or whatever. I think she moves now, so we can go in there. So, let's go find out. Um, so, as you guys are probably aware, I was at a convention with Rusty. My very first anime convention, or very first convention in general, actually. And it was, yeah, oh my god, I had so much fun. I got a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Somehow, I only managed to spend like $45, I think. Um, and, but, ah, oh, so much fun. Wait, I'll, continue, I'll get back to that in a second, but we get to catch a new Pokemon. So before we take on this trainer, let's see what our Pokemon for this route is. That's a snow route. Okay. See, this is why I keep Mud Slap. Because then I could do that and only do, like, a small amount of damage. So, see, I, I think my thing's through. I know what I'm doing. I'm smart. You guys, you guys just gotta trust me on this, okay? I'm actually really, really good at Pokemon. It's just, it's hidden by all the critical hits. So I'm going to nickname you, um, I'm going to nickname you, uh, uh, no, uh, Queen, no, no, I don't, I don't know, I feel like my, my nickname part of my brain isn't working today, you're going to make, no, um, f fed, you're now fed, you know what? Not a horrible nickname. I'm proud of it. So let's put Cluckers up front. I have no idea what the next gym is. I know the last gym is Dragon. And wow, you are not a nice type. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. The last gym is Dragon. I believe we have six gym badges now. So um, I'm trying to remember what what is it in that seventh spot. I can't remember. I think maybe fighting. But I generally have no clue. So we're just going to train everybody as a whole and that seems like a fantastic idea because then once we get to the next gym everybody will be all like a decent level and we'll actually be able to what oh my god you're a normal type wow them stupidities i feel i wow maybe we could actually hit like a meteor mash you know that'd be cool just saying any day now oh you already did i'm not even paying attention um, so, I was at an anime convention with Rusty. We were supposed to vlog, and we actually just, like, wow, Smooch would have been so much better than a stupid snow rut. Um, we were supposed to vlog, and we just completely forgot to, so, for any of those, any of you who are actually, like, looking forward to the vlogs, um, yeah, they, they didn't happen, so, I apologize, but, um, I got a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Actually, I didn't get that much Pokemon stuff. I didn't get that many things, because... I was like, okay, I can't spend like a million dollars here because that'd be very stupid. But I ended up getting, um, you know, like little pins that you like put on your shirt or whatever. I got a pack of those that had all the gym badges in it from Kanto. They actually had like three different regions. They had all five, but they sold out. 
And when I got there, they had Kanto, um, Johto, and Unova. And I ended up getting the Kanto ones. They were like 10 bucks for 8 pins, which, eh, you know, it wasn't too horrible. So, um, ooh, what is this? TM07. I think that's Hail, which I don't want Hail. I don't, I'm going to like sell Hail. It is Hail. Wow. Oh my God. I'm so smart. I'm so good at Pokemons. Um,. Maybe someday I'll actually be able to get out of the staircase, which it doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. So, oh, oh, wait, wait. I got this. I got this. We got this. We can do this. We can, we can do it, guys. I believe, okay. We're never going to do this. We don't want to leave anyways. I like it here. It's warm and toasty. Oh, 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 I think we're doing it. I think, I think, nope. Oh, yay. I'm so, I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, let's try from this side. Um, uh, okay, we gotta, like, that rock that's straight up ahead of us and to the left, we have to get to that rock somehow. So, let's go here, then here, then, oh my god, this is a nightmare. I hate these puzzles so much. I really, really do. You have no idea. But, um, anyway... <sighs> Yeah, I can't concentrate. Like, I can't talk and I can't concentrate. And I just, I hate this thing so much. And... Okay, okay. I figured out how to get out. And it only took forever. So what you got to do is go this path. Then down here. Then down here. Then over here. Then up here. Then over here. And boom, you're through. That literally legit took me like five minutes to figure out. So I actually feel really pathetic right now. I don't I don't even care. I'm happy. I made it through. So... Um, what did I end up getting at a convention? I got those pins that I told you guys about. I have searched literally the entire convention. This place was huge. I was searching the entire place for anything, anything Caterpie related. I actually found Amoongus stuff and no Caterpie stuff, which is complete bull, by the way. That Amoongus apparently is in higher demand than Caterpie. No, I'm not buying that. I'm sorry. But um, I found Amoongus stuff. Um... Pretty much like every Pokemon in the world, and not a single Caterpie thing. But, don't worry, we'll get to that in a second. Um, I ended up getting like this, it's like a hacky sack, but it's a Pokeball. It's like a, a Pokeball hacky sack, but I don't think you're supposed to hack it, because it's like knitted and homemade, and it, it's like a life-size Pokeball, except it, it's knitted, and it, it's cute and adorable, and it, <laughs> I'm explaining this really badly, I know, don't worry. Um, I ended up getting this little necklace pendants. The, I got a Pokeball one, which I'm wearing right now. I got an Ultra Ball one, I got a Great Ball one, and a Master Ball one. And then, finally, I had someone custom make me a Caterpie pin. And it is just my pride and joy. Because there was not a single Caterpie thing in the entire building. I'm like, well, screw that. I'll just have someone make one for me. So, I finally succeeded in getting my Caterpie thing. I'll actually, I'll put a picture of everything I got down in the description, in case you guys are curious. So, if you want to know what anything was like, just look down in the description, you'll find pictures there. Plus, um, you guys are aware that I have a GameCube now, because I'm going to be doing Pokemon Coliseum in the near future, which I still haven't... Ooh, we just got another lucky egg! Oh, that's awesome! Wow! Oh, by the way, someone, you guys apparently are, like, waiting for me to do something with my leftovers. I know I have it. I'm just, I'm too lazy to give it to anybody. So, yeah. Two lucky eggs is going to be awesome. I hope we could get, like, six. Um, anyway, so, as you guys know, I have a GameCube, and I've been looking for a certain game ever since I got the GameCube, because I've been watching a, like, I've watched two Let's Plays of it. I've watched, actually, both Let's Plays of it twice now, so I've seen a lot of this game, and I've, like, been desperately wanting to play it. And now that I had a GameCube, I'm like, oh my god, this is my chance. I can finally play, like, the greatest game ever made, which it's not the greatest game ever made, for the record. But um, I had a GameCube a lot when I was younger, and I never had this game. And you're probably wondering, for the love of God, Artie, just tell us what the game is. I will get there. Don't worry. And um, we were at the convention, and I found, like, this booth that had, like, old games. Like, it had Xbox games and N64 games and GameCube games. And I was just like, I saw the GameCube games. I'm like, no, they aren't going to have it. They aren't going to have it. I look down, and right there in the very, very front is Super Mario Sunshine. Because I've watched both, I've watched the verses of that, like Attacking Two Cans and Josh Jefferson's verse of that. I've watched the entire thing, I think, two or three times. I've watched Black White Attack, so let's play of that twice. So I've been, like, wanting to play this game really, really badly. And I saw that, and I freaked out, and it was 25 bucks. 
I didn't care, you know, I thought, well, that's probably a little expensive, but where else, I've, I've looked everywhere, and I couldn't find this game anywhere, so I was so excited, I'm like, yes, take my money, take my 25 bucks, please, I will, I would have paid more, I probably would have paid, like, up to 40, and I didn't even, I didn't even care, you know, I wanted that game so badly, and let me point out, just because you watch a lot of other people play a game, does not mean you are going to be good at it, because, my god, I suck at that game. <laughs> I am so bad at it, but time actually passes really fast when I'm playing it, because, like, two and a half hours passed, and I only have, like, nine shines. Um, it's it's kind of hard to get adjusted to the GameCube controller, especially since I've been doing Xbox for, like, the past four years. I've been an Xbox guy, and now all of a sudden I'm back on GameCube, and I'm trying to, like, get adjusted, because the stick is, like, really sensitive. Like, if you just barely tap it, your Mario will move, which is really annoying and there's like no way to I can't find like an options tab although now that I'm thinking about it it's probably at the main menu but um, I want to like inverse the like Y stick the camera control because I don't like when you push like you have to push up to look down and you have to push down to look up I've never liked that it's always been like hard for me to control so I want to find a way to try to invert those controls if I can if not then I'm sure I'll just adjust eventually but um Either way, I found Mario Sunshine, and the only other game I wanted was Super Smash Bros. Melee, because that's, like, the other game. Super Smash Bros. Melee, and, like, Mario Kart, Double Dash, and another game were pretty much, like, the games for me. Wow, that did a ton of damage. Like, the games for me when I was younger. So I really wanted to find Super Smash Bros. Melee, because I played it with a few different people over, like, the past few weeks, because apparently I'm, like, not the only person in the world that has a GameCube. And, um... It's so much fun. I wanted to have it, and they said they actually had it, and they sold it earlier in the day. So, that was kind of heartbreaking. I'm not going to lie. But, um, either way, I got super... This is my first time ever playing Mario Sunshine, and um, I didn't have it when I was younger. Like, GameCube was my very first console, and I never had Mario Sunshine. I don't know why I never have it, had it, but... I never did, so now I have it, and I could say, like, I feel so special, because I've been really getting into the Mario 3D games lately, um, I played Mario 64 DS, and mainly it's the DS version, because I don't have an N64, and I just, I prefer the DS version, although, I wish it could actually just be, like, mirror move, no, I don't want, I wish it could just be, like, a port, because I don't like using Wario and Yoshi and Luigi, I wish it could just be, like, um, just Mario, but, you know, that's just... That's a tiny thing, you know, small complaint. Why am I, st why am I staying in? I don't know, because I'm incredibly stupid. Let's switch into Keckles and poor Fruit Loop. We, I'm so excited because we finally got to name him. He's finally like an Archeops and he's amazing. And he hasn't been used once. So let's use Fruit Loop against this Lapani because I don't think a Lapani can do anything to Fruit Loop. Fruit Loop's amazing and we could fly. Oh, you missed. <laughs> wow, I thought... I thought jump kick was like high jump kick where you lose half your health, but I guess with jump kick you only lose a tiny amount, which that sucks. You should lose a lot more. I mean, you're jumping up in the air. You're having like, you're about to die. You're like looking up in the sky. Oh my God, it's so high up. I don't want to crash and burn. And then you do, and you're sitting there like, this is such a bad idea. Oh my God, I'm going to die. And then you're just like, oh, I only lost like four HP. No, it's cool. What else? No, no. You should, if you jump up in the air and then you hit the ground, you should just be like as good as dead. I'm sorry. If, but that's just the way it works while punny. I don't respect the fact that you think your jump kick can do whatever it wants because it clearly can't, and you're clearly just abusing your power as a bunny. I think if this was anybody else, they'd be dead, and you're just here like a little bunny bouncing on your tail, not giving any poops, and it just, no, no, I don't accept this. What is TM14? That is Blizzard, which, uh, we still have an Ice Beam TM, actually, so I'll have to do something with that eventually, but, um, oh, hey, it's ball, it's hairballs. Or Cynthia. Hi! I'm just waiting for you. I guess you don't know me, but I've heard many stories about you. That's really weird. I'm not gonna lie. And when I learned you were in Mount Ice Storm, I knew you would come here. Kratos, one of the leaders of Team Steam, is trying to catch the legendary black and white Pokemon, so I need you to stop them. My name is Cynthia. I'm the champion of the Sinnoh region. Yay! Streamers! I hope that together we can win. I better heal up because I have a feeling we're going to have a boss battle. So let's make sure everybody's had their vitamins for the day. Uh, just pass out a few super potions. Everybody get some. Make sure, you know, swallow it. Eat your, eat your cereal. Do whatever you have to. Okay, no, it's just more Mount Steam, guys. Mount Steam. There should so be a Mount Steam where it's just, it's nothing. 
but steam. You can't even climb it. You just have to look at it and realize you are defeated because you are not good enough to challenge Mount Steam. I'm going to do that one day. I'm just going to somehow find a way to collect steam into a giant pile of steam. And then that would be my mountain. And I will find a way to sit on top of it. And nobody else will be welcome. Because they can't possibly climb steam. I'm a Caterpie. I can do whatever I want. You are not a Caterpie. You cannot do whatever you want. And you're just going to have to accept this fact. That my Caterpie powers are better than yours. Because I have a Caterpie pin now. And that automatically makes me more awesome. So I apologize if you don't agree with me. But I don't really care. Because you don't have a Caterpie pin, do you? No. I don't think you do. I don't think you respect the authority of my Caterpie pen either, do you? I think if I was to walk up to you, I'm like, hey, yo, look at my Caterpie pen. You'd be like, Hardy, what are you doing? You crazy, man. I don't even know you. Why are you here? I'd be like, I just, I just wanted to show you press Leave. But it's so pretty. Go away, Hardy. Nobody cares. I, I care. Ah, uh, you're so weird. And you'd be like, I cared. What? No, I'd be like, I cared. Somebody would be like, I cared. You know, um, I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. I think... Somebody is like wearing a Caterpie pin and that somebody is me because I feel awesome and I like I like legit like the Pokemon necklace I have that I'm gonna like wear that every day now because I already have a Pikachu belt which I wear every day and Now I have oh, you know, it's been like a whole video since we saw a Gastrodon. So welcome back Oprah I missed you and now I have a Pokeball belt and I'm just gonna begin my sl I'm Working currently on trying to assemble an entire Pokemon ensemble and then I'm just wow are We really had a shadow balls. That's weird. I'm gonna have a Pokeball Netflix necklace. I'm gonna have like a Pikachu belt. I'm gonna have Pokemon shoes I'm gonna have Pokemon everything man You ain't gonna be able to touch me cuz I'm just gonna be the coolest cat in the town. You feel me? Yeah, that's what I thought you all jealous of my Pokemon swag Oh my god, okay, you guys now have permission to kill me, simply for what I just said. Just chop my head off, feed it to Weedles, I don't deserve to live anymore. Uh, because we are out of Shadow Balls, it looks like it's time to go back to Rusty, and I just realized Bronzong is like level 50 now, so... And we're asleep, yay! That's awesome. Um, wow, <laughs> Gardevoir can't touch us. Oh, silly Gardevoir, thinking it can actually do damage to us. You're so silly. Nobody tell it it's silly, I don't want to like hurt its feelings. But it's, it's pretty silly. I think we can all, like, realize this. This is a recognized fact that... Why did I not use Crunch against Kadabra? That's a recognized fact. I am very, Oh, my God. Phone. Really? Why? Why? I, I have no idea why he's doing this. Okay, what is up this way before I... Yep. Phone? I don't appreciate what you're doing to me. Okay, there's no music here, and I don't like it. Okay, that's cool. Just have nothing here. It's not like there's some kind of big event going on, we're just gonna awkwardly leave this open space. That was the most, like, climactic thing, anti-climactic thing I've ever seen. Like, you walk out there, there's no music, you slowly walk past all these pillars, like, oh my god, what's gonna be on the other side? You get closer and closer, the anticipation is building, and there's absolutely nothing. It's like, wow, that's really disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. But, you just... You gotta accept the fact that not everything in life is gonna live up to your expectations. So if you think they are, you're gonna have a real eye opener coming to you really soon. So why did whoa wait? Why did um, Future Sight fail? That's really weird. I don't know. I've never seen that happen before. So I'm really I think I'm gonna Google Future Sight after this and try to discover why it did that. Is there anything over this way? Uh, oh, is this gonna be another anticlimactic cave? It is! Yay! Wow, this game is full of nothing but false hopes and dreams. And they, they want to make you hate your life. Oh, here we go. Oh, can I just can I walk on past you here? Okay, that's cool. Oh, God, there's Red Shrimp and Zekrom. I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. I'm just going to. I'm just going to go home. Um, just in case, I'm going to give an. I think I have others. Give one to Lava Surf because we might need that. Uh, super. I just realized like half my team is paralyzed. So. That's cool. I'm out of super potions. That's even better. Um, I got plenty of hyper potions, though, so I don't need to worry. It's just... Okay. Okay, let's do this. What incredible power! Young man, welcome to the grand finale. Cynthia told me that she sent someone to stop me, but I never imagined it was someone as pathetic as you. Wow. Douche. 
You're too late anyways. Reshiram and Zekram have already been released. Now I can capture the two of them and finally achieve our goals. But before I do that, I'll crush you like the bug you- <gasps> Oh my god, it knows I'm a Caterpie. <gasps> oh, I feel so special. Wow. Oh, thank you, sir. You know, you, I have, I have, wow, that's a really high level. I was going to say, like, I have a newfound respect for you, but now I'm like, I'm, okay, never mind. I was going to say I'm scared of you, then I realized your is a piece of shit, so, sorry, not scared of you anymore. Uh, Flygon, okay, I am actually kind of scared of that, but hopefully we can ice beam it and not have too much trouble with our paralysis. Why do you have sand too? Oh my god, this game is so disappointing. Friggin' Electivire had no good moves. Flygon has Sand Tomb instead of, like, Earthquake. Just Can they, like, not change the movesets of custom trainers in this game? I don't, I don't know. I'm a little suspicious now, though, so... Game? What are you doing? Game? Oh, okay, wow. Actually, uh, that... Oh, wow, two Pokemon having 69 in the same video. Something weird is going on here. Well, so much for switching out. Although, I actually didn't plan on switching out anyways, so... Do I have anything to get rid of that confusion? Oh, uh, where's the yellow fruit when I need it? Um, okay, that's cool. We hit ourselves. Awesome. If we hit ourselves... Oh, wow. Okay. That's good. I was going to say, if we hit ourselves and then he gets, like, a crit, then we're dead. So, let's... Uh, want to break out of confusion, maybe? Or, you know, literally just hit yourself every time. That works, too, you know? I trust you, Roxy. You totally know what you're doing. Roxy, what the heck? Okay, that's four times in a row. Can we make it five? All right, so we're either going to hit ourselves here for a fifth time in a row, or we're going to break out, because this is the last turn of confusion. Okay, wow, you actually did something useful, Rocky. See, I'm so proud of you. And now one more turn, and Umbreon is dead. So we can switch out. Salamance. Oh, my God. Um. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. We can just Ice Beam. He can't touch us. Oh, he has Dragon Rage. Oh, my God, that's so scary. Oh, my No, just, just go away. Just go away, I don't want to battle you, you're too strong, you have Dragon Rage. Um, no, 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 I quit, you win, you can have the world, I don't want to battle you. Oh, 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 you're dead? Oh, oh, um, well this is awkward. Yeah, just, just forget what I said, you know, you, you can't have the world, I, I changed my mind, so, yeah. How can someone as pathetic as you beat me? I got ice beam, bitch. Oh, earthquake, oh my god, it's so scary, Rah, rah, rah. That's a custom song, sung by Hardy Take Care, copyright 2013. If you even think about that song, I will sue you for everything you have. Seriously. Okay, well, this is getting a little repetitive. Can we maybe um, finish this up? Can Arceus appear already? Sorry if I spoiled that, but, um, yeah, uh... Oh, I thought the game froze at first because I was like hearing the sound and nothing was happening. And I'm like, oh, God, screw my life. But, but nope, it's just Arceus. I think he's, I think he's having sex with them. So that's not very kid friendly. Um, anyways, you see the way they just like moonwalked off the screen. They don't, oh, oh, look at that, moonwalk. Nobody cares. It's Michael Jackson disguises Arceus. That's awesome. That's a good, it is incredible. I know. I thought he was dead. The power of Arceus exceeds even our wildest dreams. Perfect. Everything will work out after all. <laughs> okay, okay, this is getting weird. Um, you may want to stop that. Team Steam, retreat. Oh, you've done it. I hope you continue being a great trainer and achieving your dreams. Now the Pokemon Society and I will continue fighting Team Steam for you. I think by you guys fighting Team Steam, you actually mean me. So, yeah. Thanks for that. Well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. Until next time, I'm Artie Tech Yo-Yo. I wish I could moonwalk, because I would totally moonwalk out of this video. Peace.